So typically on this channel, I'm super focused on gaming PCs, laptops, consoles, the typical devices you think of when it comes to gaming, but there's a huge population out there that are gaming on their mobile device. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how you can actually stream your gameplay from your iPhone onto Twitch, YouTube, whatever streaming platform you want using OBS. Now there are a few apps already out there for your iPhone so that you can stream directly from your device onto your streaming platform. And the major player in that market is definitely Streamlabs. And although these apps are super, super nice and allow you to keep everything on your one device, that way everything is being done from your iPhone or your Android. If you do have an iPhone and you have a Mac, there is a way better way to do it that allows you to use OBS on your Mac in order to stream whatever is going on on your iPhone to whatever streaming platform you want. So first things first, you're gonna wanna get your iPhone set up, whatever game you're going to stream launched, and you're going to need a lightning cable connected to your Mac. If you have an older Mac, it'll be USB type A, a newer one, USB type C. And when you plug this in to your iPhone, what you're pretty much allowing your, your Mac to do is access your iPhone. So now we can actually screen record whatever's going on with our iPhone onto our Mac. So in order to do that, we're going to need to open QuickTime Player. And we're going to go to File and New Movie Recording. Now, typically when you open this, it'll just take whatever is happening on your uh, FaceTime camera but if you go down to the record button, the little record icon in the middle of the screen and you hit the little down arrow, you should see an option under camera for whatever your iPhone device is. So we're gonna go and select my iPhone. And now you can see we are screen recording everything that's going on on here onto our Mac. So if I move on my phone, you can see we are moving nice and smoothly inside of QuickTime Player. So now, if we set this up as full screen, this is what we would be seeing inside of OBS. If we were to just screen record our display with OBS, whatever we do on the phone, you would then be able to see on the Mac, and because we're screen recording with OBS, we would then capture whatever's going on inside of QuickTime Player, inside of OBS, and stream that out to Twitch or YouTube. So if we go ahead and we open up OBS, right now I'm just screen recording my display, which is what we're gonna keep it as. And I have, using the FaceTime camera on the Mac, uh, the video of myself. So now you could just sit here, you could play your game and screen record your face with the Mac itself. That way you can game on the iPhone and have all of your other video audio coming from the Mac. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start recording and I'm gonna go and shrink this and open up our QuickTime player and we're going to go into full screen. And now that we're in full screen, I can just go ahead and game. So I'm gonna go ahead, play the game on my phone. You guys can see everything that's going on Make sure that whatever is going on on my phone is, is ending up on our Mac. And then I'll show you guys exactly what the screen recording looks like coming out of OBS. And whether you're screen recording for showing a clip on YouTube or you're actually streaming to Twitch or YouTube live, you should get very similar results. Now for me, the game is running super smooth on my phone and hopefully it looks just as good inside of OBS and it really should look just as good. Now, of course there will be a delay, but your viewers aren't going to really notice it. It's maybe a second or so between whatever's happening on the phone showing up on the Mac. So now that we have our movie recorded, let's go ahead and take a look at the OBS output. And whether you're screen recording or showing a clip on YouTube or you're actually streaming with your YouTube live, you should get very similar results.
And for me, we need to turn up Super Speed on my phone. Hopefully it looks just as good inside of OBS, and it really should look just as good. Now, of course, there will be a delay, but your viewers are going to notice it. It's maybe a second or so between whatever's happening on your phone, showing up on your phone, there. And the other really nice thing about this setup is that because your phone is plugged into your Mac in order to do the screen recording, you're of course charging the phone along the way so you can extend those gaming sessions with your phone plugged in. That way you're staying charged and you're streaming at the same time. So if you're gaming on iPhone and you have a Mac device, this process makes streaming super, super easy. And it also makes just recording your gameplay super easy as well. So you can post it to YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're trying to post your content. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about screen recording your iPhone from your Mac and of course passing that on to OBS and YouTube or Twitch. So if you did, definitely give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, of course, leave those down below. And if you're new to the channel or you just haven't yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date on all my videos. There will be plenty more guide videos like this one, PC builds, gameplay, all of that. So definitely stay tuned.